Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This uh, this week, I think it will be a shorter video. Uh, I want to start with the with an update on the Weaver Ants. So, out of the three queens I had, only two remain. This one, which uh, is almost having its first workers, and this one on the frame that already has two or three workers this is the first feeding attempt the as you can see the, the worker is not very it's not, not very convinced i've uh, placed this drop of honey water in the front and now of course i will not make you wait until they come out hopefully they will and i'll just jump straight into action so let's wait and here she is the first worker having a drink always exciting to see the start of a new colony uh, hopefully a very big uh, colony in the future fingers crossed this is what i wanted to see because you know these queens they give everything they have to to get to their first workers so it's really important to feed them as soon as the first workers appear uh, they quick can quickly run out of energy and just die so Sorry, this is not really exciting for you guys probably, just watching a worker drink, but uh, it is for me. I really love this species. So, I think uh, I'll just move on to the to the other update, because this, the, 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 the second queen doesn't have any workers yet, so I'm not going to show her anything. So let's move on to the other update. So here's the the surprise I want to show you. I think three months ago I did a video about spiny ants and polyrachis vermata. And unfortunately all of those queens failed. So I got a bunch of new queens. And I keep them. I kept them, uh, more or less in secret. And here they are, four queens, in one test tube. Sorry, I don't know about the focus. Let's try to fix this. Uh, one pupa, two big larvae, and a bunch of eggs. Ah, like this is better. Sorry about all of these reflections and everything. I'll try to work on this. So... The test tube is a little bit messy on the end. And the reason is because they are closed inside. So... Unlike the other colonies or the other queens I kept before, these I've been keeping differently. Uh, I've keeping them totally closed in and I feed them every three to four days and this is what we are going to do now if I can manage to do this on video so yeah here we go in the beginning of course they are a little bit shy as every queen is but actually they should be hungry so they should be coming out i have some 
baby roaches pre-killed and ready to give them. It always takes them a little bit of convincing and patience, but in the end, they always end up coming out. So, I'll probably also time lapse this one. Once this queen goes back inside, normally she will feed one of the others, and then the other two end up coming out as well. For the first time in a long, long time, I've managed to to get one pupa, and these are the two larvae are looking great. The I have been feeding them baby roaches from time to time as well, and I've noticed that uh, during the first period, I actually didn't notice there were larvae, larvae already, and most probably the queens were either feeding the larvae their own body reserves, as probably, I can imagine, um, some of the eggs. So they were laying eggs, feeding themselves on honey, and then providing those eggs to, to the larvae to develop. Uh, I don't know what is the development time for the pupa, but hopefully I'll get a worker soon with two more underway. So let's see. So the question is, what's, uh, what's in for the future of these two species, of these upcoming colonies? So for the weaver ants, my plan is uh, to, to put them on a mango tree. I'll try to source a mango tree, a small mango tree. Uh, for the Polyraca cermata, I want to keep them on a open, um, on an open enclosure, just with the baby powder barrier, and I'll try to find like this um, wood piece, this dead wood piece, where hopefully they will be able to uh, web up their their nest, their carton nest. So these are my plans for the future. Uh, I want to keep you posted on their development. Hopefully they will not fail. Uh, I'm being extra careful. So, yeah. So, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and comment something if you did enjoy the video or tell me what you want to see next. And have a great week. And stay safe. Cheers. Cheers.